Have you ever pondered the true essence of love and its divine orchestration in our lives? Finding true love is a journey that often leads us down paths we never expected, guiding us through lessons of faith, patience, and trust in God's perfect timing. In 1 Corinthians 13, 4-7, we are reminded that love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Join us on a journey through the story of Debbie, a young woman on a mission to find true love. This story is not just a simple search for a partner, but a powerful testimony on the importance of prayer in navigating the complexities of the heart. Through Debbie's journey, we are reminded of the depths of God's love for us and the importance of trusting in His plan above all else. Don't miss out on this inspiring tale of faith and love. Let it challenge you to reflect on your own journey and the role of prayer in your life. Join us on this journey and let Debbie's story inspire you to deepen your relationship with God. Hey, I'm Debbie, and I grew up in this small town called Graceview. My life was pretty much centered around my church community, which was awesome. But as I got older, I started feeling the pressure to find my soulmate. It's like everyone expected me to follow this typical storyline where I find my perfect match and live happily ever after. But let's face it, life ain't that straightforward. My quest for true love was like a wild ride with lots of crazy twists and turns. I met a bunch of decent Christian dudes who seemed to have it all. They were faithful, sweet, and involved in church. But every time I got into a relationship, something inside me said, Nah, this isn't it. It was pretty frustrating, and I started to wonder if I had any clue what God had in store for me. Then there was this mission trip that totally shook things up. I met this dude, Michael, a missionary who was all about helping others, and he was very handsome. He had most of the qualities I was told to look for in a partner, but for some reason, my heart just wasn't all in. When I got back home, everyone was all up in my business asking about Michael, like he was the answer to my prayers or something. But honestly, I was feeling pretty conflicted about the whole thing. The real shocker happened when my BFF, Ethan, spilled the beans about his feelings for me. Ethan was a bit of an oddball. He had his fair share of doubts and questions about his faith, which made his path a bit hazy compared to Michael's. My heart was tugging me towards Ethan, but going for him felt like diving into the deep end. My folks and pals were not convinced and were concerned that our differing beliefs would wreck us. I was at a fork in the road, uncertain about whether to do what others wanted or go with my heart's desires. The whole thing went down during a church retreat. Then a crazy storm hit and everything went haywire, but Ethan was a total charmer. He stepped up, kept everyone safe, and showed a level of bravery and faith that blew my mind. It was in that moment of disaster that I realized God was leading me down a totally unexpected path. Picking Ethan wasn't an easy call. It went against what most people thought. But deep down, I knew it was the right move. Our love wasn't about finding a perfect match but more about figuring out how to grow together in faith, even through doubts and questions. Our wedding day was a real reflection of our journey. When we saw our squad and family in front of us, it hit me that true love isn't found in a perfect story, but in the real, messy, and beautiful journey of two people walking together towards God. Ethan and I were poles apart, but when we were together, we were unbeatable, and our love grew stronger with every hurdle we faced. Looking back, 
I can see how all the twists and turns in my life were part of God's plan. He didn't lead me down the easiest road, but the one that helped me grow in faith and understand the true meaning of love. Me and Ethan learned to love each other despite our differences, and it brought us closer to God. My journey taught me that God's plan for our lives is sometimes beyond our comprehension, but it's always spot on when it comes to timing and purpose. Love isn't about ticking off boxes on your ideal mate list, but rather finding someone who will stand by you and push you to grow in your faith, even when things get rough. For all the single peeps out there, just keep in mind that God's got a special plan for you and it's filled with awesomeness. Don't sweat the search and be open to surprises. Love is totally worth the wait and it can come from the most unexpected places. Just look at me, I'm living proof that God writes the best love stories, so just let him do his thing and watch the magic happen. Love and companionship are not just human desires, but are also a part of God's grand plan for us. The Bible says, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. Genesis 2.18 God created us to be in relationships with others, and He desires for us to experience the joys and blessings of love and companionship. As we seek to find love and companionship, it is important to remember that God is the source of all true love. He loves us unconditionally and desires for us to find someone who will love us in the same way. When we open our hearts to God and seek His guidance, He will lead us to the person who is meant for us. However, we must also remember that God's timing and plan are not always the same as ours. We may want to find love and companionship right away, but God may have other plans for us. We must trust in His love and allow Him to guide us on our journey towards true companionship. In our prayer, let us ask God to reveal His plan for our lives and to lead us to the person who is meant for us. Let us also pray for the patience and faith to trust in His timing and plan. May we be open to the limitless possibilities of love that God has in store for us, and may we embrace His divine truth that two are better than one. Let us begin. Heavenly Father, in the quiet of this morning, we come before you with open hearts, yearning for the love and companionship that you designed for us. We stand on your word, knowing that God is love, and that in your great love you have promised never to leave us nor forsake us. Hebrews 13.5 Lord Jesus, we pray for those among us who feel enveloped in loneliness, for the souls feeling unloved and undeserving of companionship. Your word reminds us that you are close to the brokenhearted, and save those who are crushed in spirit. Psalm 34, 18 We ask that you wrap your loving arms around them, providing comfort and assurance that they are deeply loved and valued by you. For individuals uncertain about their relationships, guide them with your wisdom. As Proverbs 3, 5-6 teaches, let them... Trust in the Lord with all their heart, and lean not on their own understanding. In all their ways submit to Him, and He will make their paths straight. Illuminate their paths, Lord, and grant them discernment to recognize the relationships that honor You. We lift up to You those in broken relationships, Lord. In the pain and the struggle, Remind them that nothing is beyond your power of restoration. Your word declares, I will restore to you the years that the swarming locust has eaten. Joel 2.25 We believe in your capacity to mend what has been shattered, to breathe new life into dead situations, and to bring reconciliation where 
There is division. In the powerful name of Jesus, we declare healing over every wounded heart, restoration in every broken relationship, and love to fill every void. Let your love reign in our lives, casting out all fear, 1 John 4.18, and leading us into relationships that reflect your love and glory. We pray for blessings over those seeking companionship, that you will lead them to relationships that are godly, nurturing, and rooted in mutual respect and love. May they find a companion who mirrors your love for them, someone with whom they can grow spiritually, serving you together in unity and purpose. Father, we also ask for wisdom and patience as we wait on your timing. Help us to embrace the season we are in, finding joy and contentment in you alone. May our hearts be so entwined with yours that our desires align perfectly with your will for our lives. Lord, we stand on your promises that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to His purpose. Romans 8.28 We trust that you are orchestrating our lives beautifully, even when we cannot see the full picture. We declare that your perfect love will cast out any fear of the future. 1 John 4.18 May those praying this prayer be empowered by your Holy Spirit to walk in confidence, knowing that they are worthy of love and companionship because they are yours. Bless us, Lord with relationships that glorify you. Let our lives be testimonies of your faithfulness, love, and the power of prayer. May we be a source of light and love to those around us, spreading the joy and peace that only comes from you. As we start this day, we do so with gratitude for your unfailing love and the beautiful plans you have for us. We await eagerly to see your hand at work in our lives, trusting in your promises and the hope we have in Christ Jesus. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus we pray, amen. We believe this prayer has added virtue to your faith and is already active in your life. We invite you to share your response by commenting, Amen. Your engagement is more than just support. It's a way to spread hope and faith. If you feel inspired, please share this video with your friends and family. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more daily prayers that uplift and inspire. Your involvement is invaluable to us. We also welcome your prayer request. Feel free to leave them in the comments. And together, as a community, we will bring them before God. Your faith and our collective prayers can create a powerful force for blessings and victory. Remember, you're not just a viewer. You're a vital part of this journey of faith. Each like, share, and subscription helps us reach more hearts every day. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ accompany you always.